it's now time for you to learn how to fly the downwind base and final approach to land your aircraft. Currently we're flying 5,500 feet on the right downwind for runway 07 at Lanceria. The tower has given us clearance to land so now we'll also go and do what's called the downwind checks. So the downwind checks is fairly simple, it just also helps us configure the aircraft for landing. You're going to start off by applying brakes, confirming there are indeed pressures on the brakes for when we land to stop the aircraft. Then you'll go into undercarriage. If your aircraft's undercarriage can lower, you'll confirm it's down and locked. In this case we're flying a Cessna, so undercarriage is fixed. Moving along, you will confirm your mixture is set. If you've got an aircraft with pitch, also pitch goes as required with the manual of the aircraft. And then throttle set for the downwind. So throttle with the downwind, you usually want about 2300 RPM and you want to cruise between 75 to 18 knots. So let's go ahead and reduce slightly the power. Once that is set, if you've got a fuel pump on your aircraft, you'll turn the fuel pump on and you will then go ahead and lower the flaps. Now the mistake everybody makes is they just go ahead and lower the flaps but then they are not within the wide arc. So before you always go ahead and lower the flaps, confirm you are indeed within the wide arc. So currently we are and we are flying at 80 knots so we'll go ahead and take one stage or 10 degrees of flat. This time look at the nose pitching up, so always prevent this by applying forward pressure and then retrimming the aircraft to alleviate the pressures you will be experiencing on your control column. And now get yourself just flying roughly about 75 knots on the downwind and as well confirming one temperatures are in the green and you can put your taxi and landing light off and now we just wait until we have about 45 degree angle with the airport where we will then turn in at this point always remember still to keep scanning so because of vfr flight try and find a location you can fly to then scan inside to confirm you are maintaining the altitude which is 1000 feet above ground level in this case 5500 feet we are on heading 250 and wings level so for turning base we are going to turn onto a heading of 340 so we'll quickly scan again we've got a little bit still to go and as always before you start or commence a turn you have to look to the left over at your dashboard to the right confirming there's no traffic in the vicinity before you go ahead and just commence that turn so we'll just extend downwind slightly then we'll start moving into our turn so there's the runway threshold we're almost at 45 degree angle and we'll be turning shortly just now okay I think that's about enough and because we are at altitude we can now make this a 30 degree turn or medium turn so we'll go ahead and turn and always just keep a look out to maintain your speed above 17 knots as well as maintaining your altitude and we are turning on to a heading of 340 degrees and never go out of the white arc so should that happen just raise the nose slightly and come back on the power now we are on heading of 340 you are then going to take carpet port you're going to reduce the power to 1800 rpm pull back on the control column because remember nose tends to lower when you take a, or reduce the power you're going to take another stage of flaps and then lower the nose for 70 knots and you're going to trim the aircraft to stay at 70 knots same time don't lose track of your runway now when you're turning on to base it will only be a 15 degree rate of turn not more or less so when we are flying with the base you're trying to get to 500 feet above ground level so when we are turn, turn on to finals we can actually then just simply fly the last 
bit of feed in. In this case, you've seen of turn too early, then just fly it straight. Because this is a mistake most tunings make on the start. So I just want to show you if that happens, just fly straight and then re intercept with a 15 degree angle. Then you've got poppy lights. You want two red lights and two white lights. Um, three red means you are too low or a little bit low. Three white lights means you're a little bit too high. So then just gauge yourself. Otherwise, it's four fingers on a dashboard to the threshold, and that should put you nicely on the runway threshold. Once you are established wings level, reduce your speed to 65 knots. If you are in this case, just reduce the power slightly until we've got two red poppy lights right now, and then add a bit of power to stop that sink. Because basically, your sink or uh, the, um, how fast you're coming down to the runway is controlled by your throttle, where your speed in this case is controlled by your flight yoke. Once we get closer, or in this case, away to road, we'll turn the car peat to cold. And this is also where you do final approach um, calls and they will clear to you to land. So now again, we're a bit high, I've reduced the power. There's my two poppy lights. Car peat goes cold. And now we just hold it and always make sure you've trimmed it out nicely. Center line, so right knee on the center line. Now you can go and forget about your poppy lights. Just fly it down and fly it down gently. As you reduce the power, add a bit of back pressure on the flight yoke. Because remember, when you take power away, the aircraft nose tends to drop. Now, look up. Try and fly just straight and level overhead the runway. Wait for the speed to bleed off, then gently raise the nose so you put the nose on the end of the runway threshold. Come back on the power, and the aircraft will then settle down. And then, when you apply brakes, I don't want you to apply brakes and just hold it. When you do brake your aircraft, you apply a bit of brake one, two, three release the brake and then apply brakes again for one two three release and that's how you brake your aircraft and that will also prevent you actually popping a tire and that's it for the downwind and landing your aircraft i'll see you for the next flight lesson